Hey everyone, I wanted to share one of the most interesting ways of using these new AI capabilities. And specifically, I would love to combine different ideas and for instance, combine models like GPT-5 with visual creation tools such as Gamma and also some web search capabilities. So what I've done here is I've put together a full stack content research, writing and designing automation workflow. And it basically takes you from a simple form where you provide a topic and who is the desired audience. And this workflow does some web research for you using Tavoli. And you could use any web search tool like Firecrawl or Exa if you like. And we're using GPT-5 to tell a story, tell the narrative, or just draft the narrative so that Gamma can then take that as input and create a visually stunning presentation for you that you can post on LinkedIn or you can share with your community or post on other social media platforms. So that's basically how this works. And finally, we're going to compile some information and links so that we're documenting all of these assets that we're generating. So let me show you how this workflow works. And so I'm going to go here and execute workflow and I'll be sharing this workflow with you all so that you can go and test it yourself. So here I'm going to paste the topic and this topic is AI agent research insights and findings on archive for October 2025. So this is for my personal use. I just want to have this agent just go and look for information on the web and every day put together a summary of some of the key insights and I want that in a visual way. I'm a visual learner and I prefer things to have visual elements to it. It just helps me a lot to consume content a lot more efficient. And so that's the idea with generating the gamma presentations. For the audience, I'm just going to say AI devs submit. This has been submitted. Now, Anaten is supposed to take that and execute the workflow. You can see here that it's now executing. First, it's going to do the web search. It's going to split out some of the content. So you can see here, the web search results here are from like archive papers. You can see agent data protocol. It's a recent paper, context engineering. So it's definitely pulling some really good resources here. And some of them I've, I'm very familiar with. And you can see here the results. So this is just for splitting. And then we're aggregating the information and we're passing it to GPT-5, which is then going to put a narrative together. So it's going to say, review all the articles provided and create a cohesive narrative that combines insights from all sources. The main topic of the post is the topic that I gave it. And there's also this additional information here that you can provide the system. And it's just giving more context on what you're trying to achieve here, right? So it says, write a 10 point LinkedIn style recap. So it has that style. It's going to use that style. So if you want it to be more technical, if you want it to be of a different tone and style, this is where you will tune that. So that's the narrative. And after finishing the narrative, it's going to go to create the content with Gamma. So Gamma has this powerful generation tool that creates visuals, slides, and all sorts of visual assets for you. So this is going to be super interesting to see the results of this particular request. So at this point, the storyteller agent has already outputted the content. So you can see here the entire summary of that. And then it's going to provide that to Gamma. And then basically Gamma is going to take that. We're using um, this endpoint here. And all you need to do is just set up an account with Gamma and then just set your header out and that should get you going. You can easily get an API key under your Gamma account settings. And then now it's waiting. We need to wait for the content to be generated. So we just put a waiting note here. And once that note is created, that is now sent to the get URL. So get some URL information. You can see it here. So we're going to get some info there. And then that's going to be stored in our spreadsheet. Okay, so we do get information here from this node. So you can see this is what we're getting, the generation ID, the status, gamma URL and so forth. And then finally, we're storing that information in the spreadsheet. Before we look at the presentation itself, let's look at this node here, the gamma node. Here we are providing some details via the JSON body that we're passing as part of the request. You can see here that we are telling it some additional instructions that design a scroll friendly LinkedIn carousel with engaging headlines. And you can change this to whatever platform you're using. And I just gave it here for reference to keep in mind today's date. This is very common when you're using some of these systems. At the end of the day, it's going to use AI to generate the content. So feel free to use some additional instructions on the style and tone that you want. And so here is more information about the audience. This is something we passed in the initial form. And for the image options, 
it's using Imogen for Pro. I believe there are some other options that you can use here as well. So feel free to use the model that you like. And the number of cards is going to be 10. The format is social. And so you can use different formats in Gamma. So feel free to look at the documentation to learn more about that. And that's pretty much what the workflow does. And now I'm going to look at what was generated. So let's go to the spreadsheet. So here is the spreadsheet. We have the gamma URL here. So I'm just going to go and click that and show you what was generated from this specific request. Here you go. So you have something really visual here. So it says October's AI agent revolution from flashy demos to discipline engineering. So here is what it captured from all the papers it went and did research on. So longer horizons, right? Tasks that span multiple steps and decisions, tool rich environments, and production adjacent tests that mirror actual deployment scenarios. So all of these are actually really important when deploying AI agents. Specifically, this is focusing on evaluations. And so we have 10 different items here. So planning gets pragmatic. So there are symbolic plans. There's the use of tool graphs. I really like this one because there has been a couple of papers that have been talking about the use of graphs, using that to structure you know, tools and so forth. Scratchpad logic as well. A lot of cool technologies like plug code and so on use this approach. So that's really good to see. Multi-agent systems, so beyond cute demos. So what works, this is what works and what breaks. So really interesting. That's pretty cool to see. And then we have a couple of more here. Now, you may not like the initial designs. You can always go and continue editing this. The idea is that you will revise this, right? You have maybe a reviewing team or something like that. You can edit the text, the icons, the images that you're using here in the cards. But this is a really good starting point for like content creators or people people that are creating content for their communities. In my case, I'm creating content for a lot of AI devs and use it as inspiration to better and visually present some of these findings on AI agents. I really like this one as well. It says 3x cost efficiency, uh, latency reduction, anytime agents with budget constraints, and then 5x ROI improvement. So this looks really great. And I can continue iterating on this. But so far, I really like what Gamma generated. This is very cool and very visual, and it's easy to present as well. If you're not using Gamma, go and check it out. Go try it out. This is such a really cool tool and has been a really fun experience using it for many other things that we do, like marketing and visual presentations that we work on in our company. I'll be sharing the resources and more details on how to run the workflow yourself. So keep an eye out for that.